What's up guys, welcome back. So we are on rule number seven of Jordan Peterson's 12 rules for life. This is a super long chapter. Um, I've been listening to this book and I've also been reading it. So, you know, try to help me get through. Um, and this is pursue what is meaningful, not what is expedient. Not what is expedient. Right here we have this statue of a woman holding a man. Guys, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Um, I'm feeling really good. I hope you're feeling great. Today's the Super Bowl, so down below, you know, before it happens, who's going to win, Eagles or the Patriots? I don't really follow football that much, but, you know, the Super Bowl is a huge event. It's fun to get together with friends and tune in. So let's just dive right into this rule and do what's expedient. Oh, I'm sorry. Do what's meaningful, not expedient. Be do something that is purposeful, that is meaningful, not just the easiest thing that's at hand. But man, it's so like insanely hard to do. But it's a revolutionary concept to think that we were apes. We were just animals, and animals like a wolf will just scarf down 20 pounds of raw meat. He doesn't think about sacrificing. He doesn't think about maybe I should save some of this for a week for now, for two weeks from now, when I don't have any food, when my pack doesn't have any food, and when there's no animals in the wild for me to hunt. It's just not how, that's not in the nature. So as humans, as our brains got bigger, as we began to evolve, as we became self-conscious, we started to think, I think, you know, he says it started around with the food. Oh, there's a huge woolly mammoth. There's a bunch of meat left over. There's the bone marrow. There's the fat. Well, I can't eat it all now, so let me store some. And now that I have some stored, well, let me share some with my family. And now that I can share with my family and have even enough, why don't I share some with my tribe? And now why don't me and my tribe work together to bring down the next woolly mammoth and the next giant fatty animal that crosses our path? Right, So as we evolved eating all this fat, all these animals, we we're pretty much responsible for the woolly mammoths being gone, man. Imagine how much calorie, how calorie dense a woolly mammoth is. So you get your whole tribe. And so that, that was really an enlightening period for mankind as we began to think about the future instead of just what is in the here and now. And you see, that, that's such a crazy concept. Because like it took us so long to get there. Jordan Peterson says billions of years, you know, the, for the first ape to think about the consequences of living in the future. And so we have to sort of, as a modern day human, deal with being in a time where there's pleasure always readily available to you. And there's boredom and there's stress and there is these lustful desires, pornography, fast food. Right, very cheap thrills. And so what he's saying is if we don't take into consideration what doing what's meaningful, well, it's very easy to just do what's fast, what's easy, what will satiate that desire within you. But that's what leaves you unfulfilled. He says, you know how to catch a monkey? There's a story, how to catch a monkey. It's like you put your, give a monkey a barrel with a little hole in it and tell the, and put a bunch of little candies in it, in the barrel. And the monkey puts his hands in the barrel and he, it's so narrow that when he makes a fist around a candy, he can't pull it out. He's stuck. And so you make a, you make the crate heavy and the, the barrel heavy and then he, you got to call a monkey because he won't let go of the candy. He won't let go of the candy to benefit the whole. He let that one little desire weigh him down. And so it's a lot like us. It's like we get stuck. We get, we get headaches. We get more stress because we won't do what's meaningful and we do what's fast, what's easy, what's expedient. And so I was thinking about this and well, what's an easy way to sum this up? What's meaningful? Well, Jordan says it right here. Meaning is the way, the path of life more abundant. The place you live when you are guided by love and speaking truth. And when nothing you want or could possibly want takes any precedence over precisely that. Do what is meaningful, not what is expedient. I think Christ in the Bible, 
was the example of the perfect man. He was someone that sacrificed himself on the cross, even when he was being laughed at and spit at, and he did it to save mankind. And maybe you don't believe that story, but he did it, and it is a representation of an ultimate sacrifice of love, of kindness, of truth. He was the one that is going to bear this immense amount of pain to save all of mankind. Huge example. Huge example. And there's many figures just like Christ, the Buddha, Muhammad, um, all the other prophets, the saints. And these are representations of what it means to like live as a good man. Uh, as far as sacrifice, right? He showed us the ultimate sacrifice. He was stuck in the desert 40 days, 40 nights without food. And the devil comes up to him and he like offers him. He says, you know, where is your God? Call down God. Or he promised, he made him all these promises. And Jesus stayed true to what he knew to be right. Love, kindness, truth, seeking truth, speaking truth, truth. So guys, what is meaningful? Not expedient. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I highly encourage you to read this chapter. It's pretty dense. I tried to narrow it down, um, but there's a lot, you know, a lot of deep, deep stuff that you can meditate on. So enjoy that chapter, chapter seven. And I will see you guys soon. Peace.